Hey guys, well, <clears throat> well, um, today's video is kind of the reason why I need to uh, discuss this by asking why are they doing it? Who is the idiot who suggested that plan to get rid of something that I kind of like to do on it for a pretty long time now. And now you're just gonna get rid of it four years later. Nearly four years later. Like, really? Yes. I'm talking about the YouTube gaming app. According to this video right here, which you'll be which you'll have to see for yourself why the future YouTube gaming is happening. And for some parts of it, I don't like the idea of. You'll just have to listen to this and see for yourself what I mean. See me around the community as I've read, uh, and today we're going to talk about YouTube gaming. And I am excited about this because we are like OG YouTube gaming folks. Uh, I worked on YouTube gaming way back in the day when we were initially launched, and Chris still, still works still. on it. Before we talk about the exciting news we have, tell me just how big gaming is on YouTube. So gaming is huge on YouTube. We have over 200 million people that visit YouTube gaming every day for gaming content, which amounts to over 50 billion hours of watch time on gaming content in the last year. We have a dedicated team that focus only on gaming content. We're all gamers, we're passionate about it. Can you say you're a gamer, what you're playing right now? Uh, I'm playing a lot of Dota 2 since I came out. I am likewise <laughs> playing indie game right now. I'm playing Guacamelee 2, made by an uh, indie company up in Toronto. Why are we celebrating today, Chris? Today is a great day. We're actually graduating. So we started as a small app, and we did a lot of cool things for, for gaming creators. You know, we built Super Chat, we built memberships, we did Dark Mode first, we did the mini player, we did this really big, stretchy player on the watch page, and all these really cool gaming features, including a gaming experience. Today, we're bringing all of that oh, to main app. Let's go, like, feature by feature and talk about all of the things that are now being moved over into YouTube main. Cool. So let's, let's start with the big one. The big one. So the big one is YouTube gaming. So on the side of the, of the web page and in a couple of places around the side, we'll go into those a little, a little later. Well, we'll show pictures up here for what he's talking about. So okay. we have a new destination for YouTube gaming. So if you go to youtube.com slash gaming, you're going to get a new homepage of gaming. We have a carousel up there with like some fresh content. We're going to have a shelf of all the top live games that are happening right now. We have a shelf of your subscriptions. So we're going to show all of your subscriptions that are live front and center, and then some of the other uploads in that shelf. We have a straight up live shelf of all the top live videos that are happening right now. Globally, and also you can filter to your region where you're, you're located. Yeah, exactly. So we Okay, <clears throat> so, yeah, I kind of like the idea of having the official YouTube gaming channel page for it, but the other idea, which I will then get to, is absolutely not going to be one of those good ideas, which I will have to explain why, in my opinion, why it's not a good idea for that part of YouTube gaming itself. 
we default to region. We found that works out a lot better. You get we get more views for our creators that way. Um, but then if you really really want to see like why like. People are blowing up on the internet. It's the worldwide, and you can go there. We have trending games. We have games uh, that are up and coming live streams, and we have a huge uh, personalized recommended section, which is you can just like scroll on that for for, for ages. It's so tons of content. this new gaming destination is the premier spot for uh, you to go and check out the best of the best gamer related content. We also have entry points on the watch page, so you can get to the game pages and the destination page uh, from gaming videos. Um, and we also, on mobile, if you want to get to it, you can get it from the gaming trending. There's like a little press start button, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. Oh, I like that. Press yeah. start. Press start. <laughs> Insert coin. Okay. So that is one big thing. Uh, talk to me about the second big yeah, thing so that I kinda, is being pulled over into YouTube name. So I kind of hinted at it, but we now have game pages. So we actually have game entities on YouTube, and so like... Usually when you would want to find something on like a game like, like Dota 2, for example, um, or Guacamelee 2. Um, or Fallout. Now we have a game page, and so you can actually go to these pages and browse content specifically to that game. We have live streams, we have top content, uh, recent content, and then like the ability to pivot into other games from those developers as well. Every single game! that you could possibly be interested in has its own homepage on YouTube where you can go see the best of the best content about that particular game. There's one There's one more that I think you as creators are really, really going to love. Let's hear about Let's that Let's talk one. about it. So we, we found that, you know, one of the hardest things to do is become a new creator, right? Like starting is the, one of the hardest things to do. And then once you've started, Making that transition to that be and be growing. Crazy. It's so hard. It's hard. What are we gonna do about that? How are we gonna help all aspiring gaming creators? So we want to help the aspiring gaming creators by extending the current Creator on the Rise program to have a gaming Creator on the Rise program. So what Say we're gonna what? do? Um, the gaming Creator on the Rise. That pro probably has been there for. Well, let's see. Last time I saw the gaming career on on the rise was kind of way back to uh, twelve months ago or eight months ago. Like, I unfortunately don't care about that improvement, but it's also very unlikely that this channel will be uh, part of the game pre on on Rise someday, because for this channel, of course, if it reaches 1,000 subscribers and then Later on, 5,000 or many more. That could mean that uh, after I turn my AdSense for 1,000 subscribers, and I would hope to get to at least a million views someday, which I probably won't for the next five years or so. Maybe I'll consider uh, be thankful of having a uh, having a goal to be on the gaming career on the rise, but right now I just don't care about that. on the rise feature which is going to be a, uh, a a new shelf on the gaming destination and on gaming trending which is going to highlight a uh, one creator every week talk to me about sundays chris sunday 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 right, so sunday we actually taking the trending creator on the rise spot and we're going to give it to the gaming creator on the rise every sunday check out the gaming destination check out trending by having this standalone app, we're not allowed to affect as many people, right? Like, we don't have as many opportunities. And so the standalone app is, is great, but being able to, like, 
kind of promote gaming content on YouTube, that's going to be the place where we can affect more change for, for you and, and our viewers. Yes. So we're doing a lot. I'm excited about that. But I bet uh, you have a bunch of questions, and so I have a rapid-fire Q&A for you. Oh. <laughs> first things first. <laughs> first things first. All right. Uh, gaming sponsorships. So we launched this feature into beta back in 2015 and then broadly launched to all eligible creators in 2017. So all gaming channels have access to sponsorship slash memberships is what we're calling it now. Memberships. What is going to happen to these channels? So we are, I, I want to make it really clear, we are saying that everyone who is currently an active user of memberships slash sponsorships uh, and our gaming creators we will get you access to memberships on main app. So we will get you the full join button, all the custom perks, all that good stuff in the full membership product. We don't have a timeline to promise right now. Um, not concrete timeline, but uh, we're working really hard to make this happen. Uh, next question. All right. So I have subscribed to so many creators in the YouTube gaming apps and website. What is gonna happen to all of my subscriptions? So we've already started uh, migrating subscriptions. So if you visit YouTube Gaming today, and if you have been for the last, I want to say, month or two, you've actually been a, had a pop-up that allows you to migrate your subscriptions from YouTube Gaming to YouTube. Um, that's going to continue, and I, I urge you to tell your viewers to, to click, do that. Click that button. Yeah, yes. and then, you know, as, as people use YouTube Gaming more, they'll do that more. What is happening with the YouTube Gaming apps? I think it's important to say that we're also maintaining this YouTube gaming and we're focusing a lot of effort on that as well. So what we've decided to do is actually focus all our effort and our engineering effort on really making YouTube the best place for gaming. We see that more more of you get more of your viewers from YouTube already. So let's just like in enhance that some more. So what we're announcing is that we are going to retire the YouTube gaming app. Okay. Get it here. Just just wanted to make just wanted to make that very That's the thing that I that worries me. If they actually retire the YouTube gaming app, this channel you're watching from right now, within the next three, four, or five months, or maybe six from now, let's see, uh, September, October, one month later, two months later, November, December, three months later. January, four months later. February, five months later. And then March. So, yeah, six months. Six months later. If they actually decide to delete the YouTube gaming app, this channel will not continue making weekly uploads. This channel would would only will will be scrambling to find an another screen recorder app which should only record the phone screen slash the tablet screen and not like a background which is what I'm talking which is what I'm talking about right now if you can see my hand this is the background I'm talking about here and if you listen to this part too What you just heard is the uh, Allen Show. That is the uh, background I'm talking about because if I close up the camera like this, you can hear the background of what I meant by all that.
since I got the YouTube gaming app for the past three years now, the last improvement that they made wasn't exactly an improvement at all. Which was supposedly a new look for the YouTube gaming app, which I can kind of see because it kind of looked the same to me. I mean, do you see a new look for the YouTube gaming app anywhere? Because I clearly don't see. I clearly don't see. Because it looks the same. I clearly, I clearly don't see a new look for that app. Now, on top of that, I just don't think that the, uh, like deleting the or shutting down YouTube gaming app on uh, Google Play and Apple iOS App Store is such a good and great idea. Like, again, if they do that, my channel would be scrambling to find a act an actual good screen recorder that could only record the screen and not the ground background noises from within. Because if I wanted to record a background noise like this refrigerator, which is on right now, which is why you're hearing this. And the ups and the upstairs up the toilet seat closing, then it's probably the worst. It's probably already been the worst app of all time, and that was before they update the ad to add something called a pause button here. Which, in my, to my knowledge, every time I would pause, which you probably won't see, but every time I pause, the time that you see right there keeps going. Watch. Do you see what I mean? The time right there keeps going. And if you and if and for those of you that have been a fan of this app for a long long time and you like to use it because it helps you with what you're doing on your gaming channel, and that's great. The only problem that I have that most of you might not realize, or maybe could realize if you agree, is to have another button somewhere on there. And I think I definitely had to tweet about this once. Here's my Twitter. On July 31st, 2018, I tweeted to, to Team YouTube of what I want them to do in the first place. Here it says, I think the YouTube Gaming app should have a new option. Like right now, 
should have brought in a new screen recorder so I can play and record a video game without using the same camcorder for me to talk to people or at least myself all the time or better get sound record outside areas which I just explained which is why again you're hearing this this is a freezer that you're hearing from and this is me opening the door with it this is this is also me closing the door with it see what I mean I don't want to record outside areas. And I really wanted them to... have the app, app, this app updated by August 1st. But apparently they didn't do that since. And this is another one of my other accounts, which says, please update the app to have a screen recorder so I don't always use the camcorder. And I don't think they listened at all. Here's one of what I really suggested from September 6, 2018. I told them that I did not want to record outside areas repeatedly. But this time, I added, please update this app right now. And I just... Don't understand why they can't listen to actual the actual reason for somebody else. For some people they complain it glitches. Yeah, I agree the face cam is stupid. I mean why would I want to use a face cam if I just want to screen record my video game that I'm playing? And the app itself is fine. It's just the recording system that wasn't fine. And I don't think it mentions anyone that uh, they also want an actual screen recorder instead of a webcam screen recorder, which I could care less about wanting that for the YouTube game app in the first place. So that's the only thing that I kind of needed. Like si since I waited since 2016, one year ago since this app was born, they didn't do that. I waited since last year, they didn't do that. 
this year, and they ignored it. They ignored my my suggestion to uh, they ignored my suggestion to bring to bring a new option to the app, which I wanted that in the first place. After I waited two years for them to actually put a screen record in there instead of just a webcam. Because why would I want to use a webcam? I mean, seriously. If it's going to have some sort of instruction like... I don't know. Tell me that... When recording, when recording this and that, make sure the background noises don't have uh, copyrighted sounds in there. And you know what? That's kind of the reason why I did ask them to actually update the app to have a screen recorder, not this. This. This right here. It doesn't work. I only wanted a screen recorder to actually record on the game, not on the outside. I didn't want to use a face cam f to to do that in the first place. I didn't want that. And it seems like for three years now, I've been stuck with that stupid face cam part of the YouTube gaming app. That's probably why they're going to get rid of it. Because they can't do a single thing to make one more adjustment to the YouTube gaming app. And that's the reason, that's the reason why I'm kind of sick and tired of dealing with the app time and time again to give me a horrible, horrible sound. I just can't deal with all this crap every time I make a video. When I do make a video on this app, I think it was silly to have a pause button on there in the first place. The pause button doesn't mean anything to me. They're probably not going to do any more updates after all, because they're done with the app by the next six months, which is a long time away. First, first, of course, we have to move to Halloween to celebrate it, and Thanksgiving to celebrate it, Christmas to celebrate it, and then later on, winter vacation for everyone. Which will then, after February, it will become March. But somewhere in the springtime of March 2019, we have to be gone for good. And YouTube actually does delete... Does deleting... And if YouTube actually do delete the app...
Well, let's just say that that in my opinion, YouTube would be losing a lot of favors from those of us who happen to you to like use the app for a long long time. I thought this was the only perfect gaming app that I could use to record my the gaming apps that I downloaded from there. And you know, I just don't like the idea of having to uh, look for another app. That app won't be as good as the YouTube Game app, just because, in my opinion, it won't be as good as that. I mean, it won't have this. This logo on here, whenever I close the camera, they bring the picture like this. It won't have that on there if the app is totally deleted. No every screen recorder app is going to have that. I guarantee it. I tried using the DU recorder last time, but uh, that has been giving me a little bit more of a yellow prone issue with my previous past videos and uh, for one of them I'll show you what I mean by clicking on the card right on top of there next to uh, this icon right here that I just moved because this story explains why on those couple of videos that, that I happened to record on that particular app, like that one right there, why it was so yellow, yellowy and stuff. And you know what? I just <laughs> I just don't think it's a good idea if they like do that. I seriously don't approve and I will never support it. I will never ever support the idea of, ha of having to delete the YouTube gaming app for good. All they gotta do is to upgrade the app a little more. And when I thought when they say that the YouTube gaming app is going to have a new look, I thought they meant the app is going to have a new look. But apparently, it's not that. Very clear. The YouTube gaming app will be going away uh, next year. But we have but. so many good things coming into the main app, and so many things that we actually can't even talk about today that uh, it's juicy. It's good. It's good. And it's all, all the things that we've already been doing on, on YouTube gaming. But it, we, hey, why bother with the middleman? Instead of going here and then there, let's just build it on YouTube. We wanted to wrap up this video by thanking all of you, all of the gaming community on YouTube. So I'd love to thank the hashtag YTGFam, uh, our community members who have been there since before we launched the YouTube gaming apps. Yeah. Thank you to viewers for downloading the apps, for going to the website, for subscribing to your favorite gaming-related content creators. Thank you to creators. Thank you so much for making the awesome content that you do 
I love watching it. And I see Chris in a lot of live streams, so I think he does too. I like I like some videos. Uh, some video games. <laughs> some video games. Some video games. But thank you so much. Thanks to all the people that hang out in the subreddit. Check out the destination. Come hang out in some live streams. Uh, tweet at us at, at YouTube Gaming. That's not going anywhere. Uh, come hang out in the unofficial community Discord. We uh, we hang out there. There'll be a link down below. Yeah. That's it for us. So now, would you kindly hit that subscribe button? Would you kindly tick that notifications bell? Would you kindly hit that like button? And would you kindly leave a comment below so that we can uh, answer your questions? We're going to be hanging out uh, in, in the comments. So you, uh, leave all the feedback you want and uh, we'll get to it and answer all your questions. Yes. And so instead of doing a movie quote, we're going to do a gaming quote. Ooh, I don't know if Let's I'm gonna... hear it. Let's hear it. Chris is ready. I'm going to get my gravel ready. War. War never changes. That's what right. game is that from? Drop that down in the comments below. We will see you in the next video. Thanks for I just... I just don't really know if the regular YouTube app is going to have the same thing as the Same thing as the uh, YouTube gaming app, and by the same thing, I mean re using a webcam recorder, not the official screen recorder, because it's even though it's recording the screen, it's not officially a screen recorder, it's a webcam recorder. A webcam screen recorder, I might add, which is not technically a screen recorder, because if it's technically a screen recorder, I would only record a screen. Which is why... Which is why I hate doing that. But I have to explain this, because... This might be the last time I get to use the app for good. And here's what I added 17 hours ago. Seven, terrible idea. Just update the YouTube gaming app by having a screen record to go with it. Please. And for those other people who like the new platform and not necessarily talk about the YouTube gaming app because all they're trying to do is spread the message about something else, which I don't care about, except for my own opinion here, which is the topic of what I want to only discuss. The future of YouTube and the gaming The game app error is gonna be gone. Already after three years. I mean I've been using this app for three years. Nearly three years perhaps. I've been using it since October two thousand fifteen. And if they stop the app in less than six months from the anniversary that I started using the YouTube Gaming app, I will never forgive YouTube for this. 
I'll never forgive them because they obviously have will have a very a very very bad record of what's to come for the future of YouTube gaming in like nearly a few months from now. And, and it kind of seems like that I'm the only one that have to respond to this. Hopefully I'm not. So let's just go to the homepage and see if there are comments that agree that it's a terrible idea. And I go back and find some. I recently made a comment on the pod on the uh, YouTube app slash uh, slash uh, the other part of YouTube, which is the website, which says, "Please rethink of the idea. Don't get rid of it. Just update it." To have the screen recorder, please. And I hope my comment does get to them. And uh, and uh, excuse me for a moment while I add a few emojis to explain. To explain what I how I feel here. Two of these, two of these, two of these, two of these. Two of these and two of these. I know what you're thinking, but that's how I feel about them having the idea to really delete the YouTube gaming up for good. I keep asking them time and time again to to really put a new option for the app. I don't know if YouTube has some of the laziest workers or or, or what. If they have a team for gaming and the gaming team the gaming employee team at YouTube are supposed to actually do their jobs and bring a new option by now because hearing that they're going to delete the YouTube gaming app for good it's so terrible that my channel will not be able to live this down. And I just don't like the idea at all to like have an app that uh, otherwise doesn't exist anymore. 
And I really hope that it does not happen. I mean, what I what what I thought when I read the title of the video in the first place was to see if if they were actually going to well, of course, improve the YouTube gaming app by next year. That's what I thought when I saw this new YouTube gaming app, YouTube gaming logo. And what I did see is not what I'm actually seeing. I mean, they plan to make channel memberships available in the main YouTube app to gaming creators who are actively using the feature, but... I just don't like the idea. And... Some of them asked about well get content queer featured and they explained that they reach one K subs. Once you reach one gate subs, you're eligible for game career on a rise. Which would probably make sense to that. But. Again, I just don't like the idea of having the YouTube gaming app to disappear and only have a new update in March 2019, which is springtime, to retire the YouTube gaming app and have the new gaming feature on the regular YouTube app itself. I just don't know why. I don't know why they have to waste their time to do this. They tweeted all this throughout September 18th. Obviously. People might be excited. And people might not care about the YouTube gaming app. But I personally do. And the only suggestion I did ask them to do, to do in the first place. Again, the last time I'm going to say it. Is to actually have a screen recorder on the app. Which is what I thought, what I was supposed to expect when I downloaded the app in October of 2015 by the time I started on Halloween night to record my first video for that app. I mean, I don't care about the, the, the desktop version of gaming on YouTube. 
I only care about what's gonna happen to the app. Why shouldn't it actually happen? Good grief, it stops right around there. But I did, I just didn't want, I just didn't want to, like, have A reason to complain about. But you know what? That's today's world we're living in these days. And these days you have to complain about something, right? And usually I try not to complain. Or rant about something. But apparently, I have to do that because I am a big fan of the YouTube gaming app. I just don't want to see it go to waste. And I told Team YouTube this for like weeks. Or actually months since. Never in my lifetime that they would actually go and delete the only app out there. Okay, so here's this. I mean, I'm glad that video games are going to finally have their own section, but... I am very disappointed that they're going to focus on retiring the YouTube gaming app. And that's, and that's really something that I don't like at all. I really don't like that part of having to delete.
the app itself. I just don't like it. And I just don't agree with the fact that YouTube Gaming is still going to be YouTube Gaming, but they are not going to have the app to go along with it. So I'm going to have to get my actual frustrations out and uh, try to, do, to make sure Team YouTube understands why I asked them to do that in the first place. Which they haven't done. Ignored. <sighs> okay, I'll just type in the ignored it by itself.
えっでもオーケー。I'm about to send this tweet in now. So I hope they answer this time. If not, they're dead to me already. I just don't understand why. And I still won't understand why they need to do that to waste their time. I just. I just don't like the idea of deleting the YouTube gaming app itself. I just really don't like to have that idea in my mind that they're going to delete it in approximately March 2019, somewhere in springtime, which is officially the day they're going to delete the, the app. And I just need you guys to be my eyes and ears if, if you're watching this. I need you to be my eyes and ears. To express how you feel about the YouTube Gaming app. Like, if you want to save the app because you, you like it. And you want to keep using that app. Or maybe... Or maybe if you want to move on to... 
if you want to move on to, uh, that's okay with me, if you want to move on. But, you know what? For me, I never want to, like, move on to a different screen recording platform. Like I said before, I did try to do you record app, but it ha still has that kind of issue of when you try to officially edit a video through that app there and it, tur it suddenly turned yellow-ish. Which is for reason why, the reason why I could not bear to use the DU recorder app again, time and time again, every time I tried to use it. Because if I wanted to make good videos, I probably can't do that by adding an intro or an outro or basically a title because the app has a problem inside that could probably never be fixed. And that's why I try not to use the DU recorder app again until it's it somehow gets a little bit more better than it should have been in the first place. But I'm afraid I will have to use that app again because the YouTube game app is not frequently updated to the last update they made, which really doesn't help much for my channel itself. And my channel needed an official screen on phone, on tablet, recorder, with no background outside noises. To officially make my videos a lot better for me to get more viewers this way. And recording in a place that has a background sound, it kind of doesn't do good for this channel and the way that a viewer might, like you might be able to watch from. And for those of you that aren't my viewers, well, this might be your chance to actually subscribe to my channel and uh, you know, watch watch my uh, past videos and videos that I have been making for like the last year or so and uh, yeah that's about that's about it for this video guys sorry you have to be a little long but I just need to express how I really, really, really feel about the YouTube gaming app's future when it does come. And I do hope that uh, everything will be fine. for my channel in the future. But for this brief of brief reason of why they're gonna get rid of the YouTube gaming app in the next six months. I really uh would be very angry if that ever actually happens. So yeah, do follow me on social media, like Twitter for instance, Facebook, 
same name, you just type it there, Greening City Video Gaming, Instagram, Greening City Video Gaming, you just type the name and you'll, you'll go from there. And I'm also on Google, Google Plus too. And the website is also in the uh, video description, you can go there as well. <coughs> And, uh, now that this video is going to end, I'm going to have to use the bathroom right now. Because I need to stop this video and actually use the bathroom real bad. Because I talked for, like, a long time. And, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And, uh, again... Team YouTube, if you're watching this, please rethink before you lay a hand on the YouTube gaming app. Please rethink your idea. I don't care how long it takes to rethink it. Just rethink, rethink, rethink until 2019, the new year. And if you still want the idea to get rid of the YouTube gaming app instead of improving it, then go ahead, do it. But I will never forgive you guys for betraying me all this time. And that's all I have to say, really. Peace out, guys, and be sure to turn on the notifications after you subscribe so you don't miss any videos. Bye-bye.